There was never a conversation about Janet being anything other than what she was. I had such admiration for Janet as a person, and so I never saw her as just a character. And I really wanted to, to try, attempt to live in her world as much as humanly possible. I think that's what Damien wanted to do as well. Jan, the ship is stable. They're going to be all right. She's OK, Jan. I need you to go home. Fine. Turn the box back on. I'll see what now, I can do. Now, turn the box back on now. Well, there's security protocol. Well, I don't give a damn. I've got a dozen cameras on my front lawn, Deke. Do you want me telling them what's going on? Jen, you have to trust us. We've got this under control. No, you don't. All these protocols and procedures to make it seem like you have it under control. But you're a bunch of boys making models out of balsa wood. You don't have anything under control. Well, Damien is incredibly, uh, trusting's not the right word, but he realizes that his actors will grow the character and he realizes that his actors will feed him and the movie and I think he just sort of trusted me to get on with it really and do my research and get myself to a point of feeling comfortable about her um, and the knowledge of her and you know I was very supported I had dialect coach and I was had lots of information that I was able to get my hands on tapes of Janet and obviously Jim's book. But, you know, there was a lot of improv. We did a lot of improvisation before we even started shooting. We did two weeks of full filmed improvisation every single day. And a lot of that was all just the domestic stuff. They didn't improvise any of the space stuff because that would have been obviously a bit tricky. And so we improvised a lot of the domestic elements. And he gave us room to improvise around the script and to bring our ideas to the script. And so then it meant when we actually started, print, like we started shooting, that we just had a, you know, a really relaxed way with each other. Pat doesn't have a husband. Those kids, they don't have a father anymore. Do you understand what that means? What are the chances that's gonna be Ricky and Mark? And I, I can't tell them that their dad spent the last few minutes packing his briefcase you're gonna sit him down, both of them, and you're gonna prepare them for the fact that you might not ever come home. You're doing that. You, not me. It's a funny thing because I think we, went, we made two different films. Damien's done some incredible thing where he's made two different films and made them the same cohesive thing. You know, there was a very domestic and intimate film and a vast, giant space exploration film at the same time and they run alongside each other and they inform each other you know for me i take away something from the film which i find really profound and you know i find it terribly sad but there's hope in that there's hope in the in the in the pain and the struggle and the the difficulty of people's lives and that ultimately you know one man did something pretty extraordinary mm -hmm.